stove fried oven is really just my favorite way of cooking. All the sights and sounds are actually more intense when you're cooking because you feel much more connected to the food that you're working with, much more connected to the fire that you're using to cook the food. I just love the whole experience of it. It's a really uh, fun way of cooking. It's a very intuitive way of cooking. You think about uh, where you're placing the food, the kind of heat that you use in the oven. It's just a great experience. The design of a wood fire oven is actually very simple. So let's start with the dome. You have this beautiful dome inside and it's a dome because that's considered the most efficient way of storing and then releasing the retained heat in the oven. Then you've got the floor, and the floor is where your fire is going to be, and it's probably the surface you're going to cook on. And then you have your opening, and then you have your chimney. Most ovens are made from either brick or refractory concrete, and that's what my oven's made of refractory concrete. And then there's two different types of oven. There's a black oven and a white oven. And those terms come from a black oven is an oven that works with an active fire. And once you light the fire, the smoke will leave this layer of soot over the dome. And that's where the term black oven comes from. But you should see that disappear once the oven reaches above 700 degrees. And a white oven is an oven that's basically heated by a gas flame. Um, and there you don't get any ash or smoke and that's why it remains white the entire time you use it. The wood-fired oven works on the principle of three kinds of heat. The first one is radiant heat. And radiant heat is the heat that's generated by the fire that's inside the oven. And then also the heat that's being released by the dome and the floor. Then you've got the conduction heat, and the conduction heat is the heat that's been stored in the floor of the oven. And then that is then transferred when it comes in contact with the food, like pizza, or also whatever cooking vessel you're using. And then finally you've got convection heat, and convection heat is the air that's drawn into the oven. It flows over the floor, it heats up, it goes over the fire, and then it circulates around inside the oven and up through the chimney. So a well-built oven with a really nice thick thermal insulation will retain heat more efficiently and for a much, much longer period of time. The density of the material also determines the heating time and how long the retained heat will last inside the oven. The other thing about really good insulation is that it means greater fuel efficiency because if you have a well-insulated oven, you're going to use less wood to maintain the heat. So the hottest part of the oven is going to be wherever you place the fire. And if you want to, you can get an oven like this up to about a thousand degrees, but you never really want to get that high. I mean, that's a really high temperature and you're just probably going to incinerate anything you put in it. So I like to try and maintain a temperature of about 800, 850 degrees. I find that's the most manageable temperature to cook at. And then the difference in temperature between the back of the oven, where it's about 800, and the front is going to be about a 300 degree difference. Uh, and that's so I can regulate how I cook inside the oven. If the closer I push my food towards the fire, uh, the higher the temperature is going to be. But if I want to pull it away from the fire and get a slightly lower temperature, I pull it more towards the opening of the oven. This is called a wood-fired oven. There's a couple of ways you can work with it. One is to actually have a fire active in the, in the oven itself, and that way you're cooking using the fire in the oven. Or once you've heated the oven up, uh, you can then remove the fire and all the coals from the oven, and you cook using the retained heat inside the oven. And that's usually how a bread oven works. Can anybody have a wood-fired oven, like me? Yes, if you have a very generous and patient wife, you can have another one like mine. Um, 
I think it's really easy to participate in this kind of cooking by either building a custom oven like this one, or now there are these really amazing portable uh, models you can buy to place anywhere in your yard. One thing I love about cooking in the wood-fired oven is kind of the culinary theatre of the whole experience. It's not just obviously a great way to cook, but it's also a really fantastic way to entertain family and friends. The oven becomes kind of this focal point where everybody can gather, as long as they don't get in my way, uh, and they can also enjoy the sights and sounds of uh, cooking in the wood-fired oven. So you can probably tell by now I would really love using the wood-fired oven. Uh, I love every aspect of it. I love the preparation of the fire, the preparation of the food, the cooking, the entertaining side of it. But once all the cooking's done and uh, everybody's gone home, uh, I have this one moment that uh, I reserve for just myself, which is to pour myself a really amazing glass of wine and then just sit here and just enjoy the last embers of the fire.